life. This is the car that Medica Gua was driving before he collapsed on the wheel at Mlago roundabout at around 7 a.m. According to police, after collapsing, he knocked a car that was in front of him before coming to a stop. Kagwa was taken to case clinic by a Mlago doctor who was at the scene. It was something minor, but it prompted them to look through and see who was the driver. Upon looking through the vehicle, they realized that the person was unconscious and I decided to use a stone to break through the vehicle so that they can pull this person out for medical attention. Kagwa was taken to case clinic by a Mlago doctor who was at the scene. <laughs> It was a somber mood as relatives and friends waited outside the intensive care clinic. According to the hospital management, medical Gua was wheeled into the intensive care unit behind me at 7.55 a.m. Not responsive, but there was still a glimmer of hope of life. The intensive care team at CASE took over and started advanced life support, which included um, CPR, intubations, adrenaline was given, and all the other modalities of the advanced life support. The resuscitation continued for one hour with no return of vital signs of life and was declared at dead at 9 a.m. According to family members, Kogwa has been suffering from high blood pressure. He has always had pressure, but he wasn't sick. So it was just one of those things, like it was God's time. Kagwa's body was later taken to Mlago Hospital for post-mortem. Different people have offered their condolences to Kagwa's family and shared their views on what kind of person the Human Rights Commission chairperson was. As of him yesterday, we were eating jackfruit and laughing and watching news. We're always watching news together and, yeah, and playing with my kids. He's, yeah, he was a good dad. I'm shocked. All the people here are shocked and lost of words. Last memories of him. Just the two of us is when I went to his office to pay him his um, office dues traveling abroad. So one thing he always cautioned me about was to separate two pockets, the private pocket and the public pocket. Every year you could hear his voice calling them to order. And it is very distressful to imagine that he dies on the eve of an election year. It, it's terrible. It becomes a lesson to us as Ugandans, especially as far as maybe first aid is concerned when we get involved in an accident. Uh, also, there is a mess on the road created by actually very big and important people in this country. <laughs> Medical Gua was 64 years old at the time of his death. Still be a hunger, NTV tonight.